Looking ahead now, Wednesday is Valentine's Day, which for many means fancy meals and chocolates. But this year, Valentine's Day is also falling on the same day as Ash Wednesday, when Catholics mark the beginning of Lent by fasting. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen asked the head of the Providence Diocese how Catholics should handle this dilemma. Steve? Oh yeah, guys, this hasn't happened in decades, so we wanted to know what should Catholics do? I sat down with the bishop to get the specifics. What has Valentine's Day become? A day to celebrate love has grown from roses and chocolates to pet weddings. Yep, even your dog celebrates St. Valentine's Day. But this Valentine's Day, say goodbye to the roses and chocolates if you're Catholic. There are other options to celebrate Valentine's Day, whereas Ash Wednesday cannot be moved. For the first time since 1945, St. Valentine's Day is falling on Ash Wednesday. Any Christian, any Catholic worth the name, keeps Ash Wednesday in a very special way. And Bishop Thomas Tobin says it takes precedence over your Valentine. It's a small sacrifice, but it's, it's a day that belongs to God and it should not be taken away from God. I pointed out to him last year when the diocese allowed Catholics to eat corned beef on St. Patrick's Day, even though it landed on a Friday during Lent. Well, the difference of course is that even though the Fridays of Lent are also very important, they are days of fast and abstinence for Catholics. They don't have the same um, prominence that Ash Wednesday has. So his advice, celebrate your Valentine, but just pick another day this year. So can I not get flowers for my wife then on Valentine's Day? You can get flowers, of course, but present them the night before. Sorry, honey. Bishop said it. By the way, Bishop Tobin will preside at the noon mass in the Cathedral of Saints Peter and Paul, where he'll bless and distribute ashes. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.